Hello everyone. This is Vivek. At 6:30 in the morning, today I'll be riding to Gokarna. I have uh, Naresh and Shri Hari will be riding with me. Uh, Naresh is a friend of uh, Shri Hari, and this is the first time I'm riding with him. So the plan is to take National Highway 48 uh, till Haveri and then deviate towards uh, Sirsi and for go to Kumta. So it's the next stop would be in Chitradurga for breakfast, uh, which is about 200 kilometers from here. Uh, hopefully we should reach there by 8:30 or maximum by 9. Well, after covering about 330 kilometers and having not so good breakfast at Hotel Mysore Cafe, we are finally in State Highway 2, which connects to Sirsi. So the next stop would be in Hotel Ali Khan. Um, that's for lunch. Uh, right now it's around 12:30, and hopefully we should reach there by 1:30 p.m. So that's my friend Naresh, who is riding Meteor Rod and Fit Meteor, a uh, friend of me right now. So yeah. Let's keep you. Well, now we have connected to National Highway 66 that connects Panvel to Kanyakumari. So we should reach Gokarna in about 30 minutes, the roughly around 22 kilometers from here. Well, that's Sri Hari, who is riding on his meteor uh, in front of me. Good morning, folks. This is the place where we stayed last night. It's uh, called Shiva Cottages. It's in Kudle Beach. Uh, for us to reach here, we had to park our bikes in Kudle Pay Parking, which is uh, safe, and they charge about fifty rupees per day. And walk a bit to reach the destination or the hotel. So today's plan is to visit the temple and then go for a small off-roading or rough-roading, I'd say, and then uh, a trek uh, that would lead us to Paradise Beach. This is the Kudle Pay Parking where we have parked our bikes. Uh, 
reaching here is a task because uh, it's not a paved road and there's a lot of stones that you need to uh, look into while coming down and going up it slips a lot it's difficult to <coughs> handle it here need to take a right turn somewhere here there are no sign boards and according to google it says a right turn uh, i don't see any uh, road over here but i do see an unpaved road behind that car so uh, assuming that should be the one let's see well this is the road i was talking about uh, that takes to the paradise beach it's roughly around 3 kilometers and it's on the right hand side if you are coming from the Om Beach Road and if you are coming from the Coconut Town then it's on your left hand side. So there are no sign boats and it's hard to notice and um, there are very good chances that you might miss out on this road. So you have to be very careful. Google map does or uh, no, tells you the direction but uh, you might not notice the road. How do you feel after trekking? Bin dasa gire. When the off-roading karkono udro Vivek matte Naresh oro. Rana ne hodanghe thara. You know, wildly in in el thare. Bad I feel like record it. But then parama. Now is the first money do sarthakan anistha. So far so good. Naresh oro green hai.
Okay, Srihari, how was your experience of off-roading and trekking to Paradise Beach? Most surprising uh, off-road off uh, I have been to. I have been to Mandalpatti also, but uh, I have not. Ex uh, I have not. I didn't expect so much uh, off-roading. Uh, you know, to the beach. Actually, more uh, exciting. I feel the journey. They say the. They, you know, I think I don't know the correct uh, saying. Destination. Uh, Desti doesn't more than the destination. Yeah, destination doesn't about matter. The journey. Yeah, it's all about the journey. And I think the Paradise Trail uh, truly something.